And you are looking in on Mike Pettin, one of the uh, legendary coaches. Yeah, you talk about Mike Pettin's career at Central Bucks West. He's in his 32nd year as head coach. Pettin, you're talking about a guy that's won 310 ball games in his career and lost only 42 and is looking for his third championship here in the 90s. Ball at the one-foot line. Hand off Pashadi. Touchdown, Central Bucks West. The run Pashadi wide. One-on-one, -on -one. pushing, pushing. Touchdown, oh Central Bucks West. There's Pashadi. First down and more. Goodbye. Here he is, bringing it 20. Pouring it on at the 10, and it's a touchdown. His fifth of the night. It's the next great player in Pennsylvania. You're looking at him. Pashadi, Jr. Oh. Stud. Bring it down. Mailman, get ready. He's As they count it down for Mike Patton, got his 300th career win, and now a second consecutive state champion. I mean, when you see a football team score on every offensive possession, how rare is that? That's a rarity on, on the level of a perfect game. Uh, Don't be surprised of a year from now that these guys have this on their schedule again. I get the feeling sometimes it's like destiny. Our fans talk about where we're going to go back. We're going to three-peat. That's not the way you play football. Your butts have to make it happen. Make it happen. Another medal you out. Another one. High school football, the stakes have gotten higher, especially in a place like this, where you win, 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 and win, and uh, people expect it community it's good for the community it makes everybody feel good in the school it's got a lot of positive attributes that's right Gary my annual trip to Mecca so to speak I am indeed live here in Doylestown in the cafeteria of the two-time defending state champion Bucks of CB West well, we have some blue-collar and business type executive type and mm -hmm. but I, we have a pretty good mix you know you got to draw on the West tradition it's you look at the West kids and he's uh, you know there's nothing magical in the in the water in the district uh, but these kids grow up uh, fanatic about playing for CB West because the tradition that's been built. You know, one guy left our team, and what did he say? I don't think I'm cut out to play for a championship caliber team. He didn't want the pressure. He didn't want the competition. That's it. Quit now. You're going to quit? I'm not quitting. Well, then get, get in. What are you stopping for? You know, we put pressure on them as coaches. Uh, we run it very intense practices. I don't think you're going to find too many practices more intense. Still saw. Well, yeah, get out. You know, get out. Get out. Go read your press clipping. You know, I, I could see if anybody do, deserves to be ranked up there. I mean, coming off the two years that we've had. Everybody's talking about how good we are. Now, if you start believing that stuff, you're going to be in trouble. But we have a great support group and a great community grassroots base. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Marty. How's it going? And again, I'm not so sure that if you were losing, you know, that you'd have that type of uh, support. You know, a lot of it is based, so there's the pressure mm -hmm. to keep it going. Can we do it again? And, uh, but the fans, they just think Mike Patton and me, we're just going to snap our fingers and we're there. Uh, you know, the expectation is so high. Uh, so it seems the, uh, most of the pieces of the puzzle to have a pretty good team are, are, are there, with the exception of the offensive line. Forget about last year's team, it's your team. If we're going to put a lot of time in on football, and you're going to do well in your studies, then what has to go? Something has to go that the normal student doesn't give up. What is that going to be, Oriel? Social time. Now, is it hard? You guys aren't allowed to party because you guys signed a pledge. Yeah. Now, no one has to disclose. No one just has to talk about how much you guys need. You talk about football is like a family. Cry with these guys, uh, your teammates, you laugh with them. Uh, the closer you are, I think the more you're going to pull for one another, you're not going to let one another down. <clears throat> Does this team have that closeness? I don't know yet. And, you know, I've been doing this since uh, football-wise, taking up uh, my the fall of my life since seventh grade as a kid that went to practice every day on the junior high 100-pound team and played every year in high school, in college, and immediately coached, and have coached ever since 1962. 
you know, coaching is teaching. And if you're not teaching kids real the essentials of what parents want, you know, this is good time spent for my kid to develop, a boy to become a man, uh, learn teamwork, learn values of discipline, budgeting your time, and hopefully that's what we're doing other than, you know, winning championships. Good is not good enough with him, that's for sure. He's demanding, and if you don't do it his way, boy, you, he can get awful angry. You're the last one out of the huddle. You jog up, kick your ass up, and then you don't get down. Why? 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 He just, you're not ready to play. Everybody keep asking, when, when do you think he'll retire? When do you think he'll retire? Uh, I know my dad's uh, close to retirement. I don't know when he's going to get out, but... Uh... He's just so competitive. I would say at least another three or four years. That's the type of guy he is. I don't think the time is right. I just think if he wakes up and, and feels you know, the fire's not there, he's got to get out right away. But the last two years, having played 15 games, by December he was really, truly burned out. You know, if he feels he's ready to pass the torch, then you know, we're, I'm, I'm here ready to take it. Now this guy wanted to do something on uh, CB West football. And, you know, he's an independent, nice guy, and I committed to him. And a couple weeks afterwards, it, ESPN calls me. So I said, look, I may give my word to this, this other gentleman. Uh, the guy's going, well, you got to be kidding me. You know, this is this ESPN. ESPN. <laughs> So I told him, I said, well, here are some other good teams. We were just talking about North Penn and, you know, father, son. And so a week later, my son calls me. He says, thanks for the leftovers. <laughs> so he's going to get it? So they've been there with cameras rolling. As a, as a coach, you know, they've set the standard in our league, and, and uh, we try to emulate that. I mean, I'll make no, no secret about it. People say, oh, you're so much like CB West. And I'll say, thank you very much. I mean, that's a a good a compliment as you can pay a, a high school coach. It took me some time, I think, to earn his respect as a coach. I think eventually, you know, after several years of coaching for him, that came, but... Let's go, pay attention! I said dog's a quick end! Flip right on one! Get your head out of your ass! You know, there's, there's, no, there's no room for soft touches in our business. Hey, if he if it's clear he ain't the guy, cut his reps. I ain't gonna live and die with that sucker. <laughs> she asked him, well, what is yeah, Poppy? Yeah, Poppy's a pressure. football coach. Yeah, yeah. What is Daddy? You know, Daddy's a football coach. coach. From, uh, and then he'll day, say, and I be football coach. Obviously, you want to de develop, uh, you know, boys into men and turn out some good good character kids. And, uh, but the bottom line, kind of surrounding all of us, you want to be successful. You want to win. And he's he's bright. I mean, he's bright to the point where. He would try to cut corners. I mean, he, he would just not study for a test and, you know, ace them. And however, now his work is nuts and bolts every day, you know. Uh, I'm probably the opposite, you know. I'm not as smart, but uh, I had to, you know, do everything the, the hard way to yeah. get it done. Uh, you know, I've, I've patterned, like I said, I've patterned a lot of what we do here after uh, what I did there. That was my second game yesterday. Oh, really? I was at Pensbury in the afternoon oh, really? watching my son's game. And then at CB West last night. And the grandkids were at both games, too. I've never seen her, but supposedly she uh, puts her head in her hands. Really? I just figure if I don't look, uh, nothing bad will happen. So I've missed a lot of exciting plays with that philosophy. And we had dated all through high school and through college so that I knew what, what he wanted to do with his life. I, at that point, had no idea the time commitment in coaching. But uh, I learned real fast, and obviously he loves what he does, but he can be very demanding, and he is a perfectionist, so uh, that can be hard to live with sometimes. Yeah, she's kind of an unsung hero. Wiley in the background, I, I think if a coach wants to really make a commitment, and there were a lot of trade-offs, and of course she mentioned some of them, I wasn't around as much as I should have been. And then there were the season, you know, mentally you're just in your little zone, and you don't, you know, focus on 
things that maybe you should, and, and I think that makes it tough for the wife, and that uh, you know that they often have to uh, suffer the brunt of the, the frustration and even the pressure, even when things are going well. You know, how do people deal with pressure? They yell at their wife. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> Come on now. I'm not that bad. We got this Pachati guy though. He's he's yeah, real good. I, I he's real good. Drive it hard. Drive it hard. Drive it hard. That's it. Drive your leg. Drive your leg. I realize really what's at stake. I mean, you got all this uh, publicity about the uh, like uh, the two state championships and like nobody, nobody this year has experienced a loss at West. So it's the kind of thing you don't want to happen. I just pet and told me today, he's up for Gatorade Player of the Year in all the United States. It's down to five guys. Well, Pachati has a chance to start. <laughs> Coach Flaherty, University of Iowa. How you doing, buddy? I'll call you later. Uh, good. Like Michigan State, Syracuse, uh, Iowa, Georgia Tech, uh, even Miami. Really. Like I've talked to them a couple times. When Mike showed them to me as a ninth grader, he said he's a Miami guy. Well, what's this guy been telling you? Who's this guy? Dustin. Sorry. Nothing. He don't say nothing. Well, don't let him bullshit you. I've never been out of the loop like I have been on this one. I've been calling him. I call him once a week and uh, just say, hey, man, what's up, bro? Not much. Yeah. <clears throat> He's a little different, isn't he? If you want to be good at something, it just, you can't snap your fingers. If you want to be good over a long run, you really got to get a formula together and a plan and, and stick to it. We start our program in January. That's football here at West. That's CB West. Not that, Gary. Late one tonight. No, well, not too bad. About the same. I mean, in the off season, during the season, there aren't too many teams in the country to work harder than our kids. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty simple in football the way we play it. We're trying to get more people at the point of attack than you have defenders. A lot of, that we do as coaches is a tremendous attention to detail. Mm -hmm. What's supposed to be? What side of it? Touching. Up more. Bootleg, waggle, reverse, and tread. Now that holds up for red special, 43 monster red, and 44 red. Any questions? But the bottom line, whether it's business or whether it's a football team or a lot of other endeavors, when you pay attention to detail, that's the difference between success or failure. You know, victory or defeat. So what are you doing? Full speed out of control. The sweep. Who do you get? You just went and blocked the corner. So we challenge our kids. You better look in the mirror, young man. The talent you have and you're not producing. You said it, pal. If you can't make the play, I get Cam burn in there. Hey, you can't be a nice guy. Football is a tough game. You know, the opponent wants to, at times, humiliate you, beat you up, 